Hello everybody, happy new year. Today we're gonna to be doing a set review on the advent calendar that came out this year. It is 75340, 329 pieces. And now we're gonna be going day by day to show you guys what we did get for those who haven't um, received this advent calendar. So let's get to it. So on day one, we did get this cool Republic gunship. Here's where like the, the little ball turrets would be instead they use the little handle for a bucket that they use for minecraft here's the wing very very cool here is the cockpit can also lift up just because it's being used like that and then here are those big other blasters there to hold the wing in place and then of course here's the interior where the clones would be and or mass or the jedi so this is this would be day one day two we got a minifigure so this is a clone commander this is the third time we see him this year so you know nothing new here he does wield a pistol instead of a uh, blaster rifle he does have yellow uh color printing on his arm in the back you have his belt and in the front we do have his ranking which is right here and then of course the normal face for a clone trooper is there so this is gonna be day two day three did we did get a very cool tri fighter as you can see there is one uh tile that is different you know it can go any most likely this it goes like this and then here is the blaster that comes out instead it's used like is is it's used with an antenna come back here we do have the engines here with that red stud so this is gonna be day three Day four, we did get an interesting ship. It looks like it's from the Empire, but it's not. It's from the Republic and the Separatists, you know, Battle Ages, episodes one through three, including the Clone War. So I have no idea what this ship is and where it's from. But, you know, it's just pretty cool. As, as you can see here, this is where the hangar is. Not the hangar, but the cockpit. Back here, we do have the engines back here. So this is going to be day four. Day 5, we did get a minifigure, we did get a battle droid. We have seen this in almost every advent calendar, which is interesting. I guess they just want to give them away. They have not made that many sets with battle droids, so this is a good way to get one. Um, he does come with a silver blaster instead of the normal black ones, which is interesting the way they're, they're doing it. And there's really nothing new about this battle droid, so this will be Day 5. And for Day 6, we did get... The Bad Batch Marauder shuttle. And the wings can lift up like this, like if it was landing. Here's the um, the cockpit here with that red um, flat tile there. And in the back is, you know, just more of that color. This is the same color in the Bad Batch set. It's not light blue, okay? I don't know why Lego doesn't get this. It's not light blue. That's going to be day six. Day seven, we did get a Luke's Land Speeder mini build. Pretty cool, as you can see on here. It's the sands of Tatooine. On the bottom, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. It's just a normal mini um, land speeder. But as you can see here is Luke Skywalker and C-3PO. Nothing where R2-D2 is, like, back here. Or, you know, he's being held. And here are the engines. So this is going to be day seven. Day eight, we did get a T-16 Skyhopper. This is where the um the little b uh, bullets shoot out of. So the gun turret there. The wings can lift up like that. The cockpit is right over here where that clear piece is. And in the back, we just have the engine. And this is a pretty cool build. This is going to be day eight. And day nine, we did get a cool and exclusive C-3PO. He's wearing a R2-D2 ugly sweater with a silver leg there and the gold leg. Coming up to the back is just the sweater with blue. We do have some snowflakes that are falling down, which is pretty cool. So nothing out of the ordinary except for a blue, ugly Christmas sweater. And then we do have some arm coloring. And for this is going to be day 9. Day 10, I want to say this is the most exciting build. We did get a moisture evaporator. Terrible. Well, the build's not terrible, but just the day. I wish they included this with the Luke's land speeder because just having this for a build is not really cool and exciting. I think they should have made something better, but this is going to be day 10. And day 11, we did get the V35 Courier. I have no idea what movie this comes out in, but I do have a feeling that's going to be from the New Hope. 
because I mean the, we did have the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy first. Now the original trilogy. So I think this is gonna be in the in the New Hope just because it's a land speeder. Most likely it's gonna be found in most Eisley. But overall, this is a pretty cool build, and uh, and this is gonna be day uh, tw uh eleven. Day 11, guys. And on day 12, we did get a Summer Vacation Darth Vader from the Summer Vacation show only on Disney+. Plus. I'm sorry, guys. It's very... Uh, you, you can't really see that much because obviously he's black. And right now, there's a bunch of light coming in. So, uh, here he is wearing the um, the, sh uh, the the shirt that was in the show. We do have some palm trees here. TIE Fighters in the background. And the twin sons from Tatooine. Except one is the Death Star, which is really cool. Back here, we're on Scare. We're in Rogue One. There's that station there, more TIE Fighters, the sea, and more um, palm trees. It did come with a volleyball, but it looks like a soccer ball. If you look here, I'm going to open it up for you guys. It's a soccer ball. Very, very weird. It's just supposed to act like a volleyball. So this is going to be day 12. Day 13 is going to be a part 2. Here we have the Sandcastle. Darth Vader's castle instead it's made of sand instead of bricks and blocks. Here we do have the water here. It does come with a shovel so he can pick up sand and put it in a bucket that was added on, which is really cool. This is a, this is like this is the best mini build in this set. Really cool. So this is gonna combine with the Darth Vader minifigure that we just saw. And this is gonna be day 13. Here we did get a B wing, which is pretty cool. As you can see, these wings can always see fold out. I'm sorry, guys. With just one hand, it's really hard. Let's make it look like, you know, he's just chilling there. But he does come with, like, blasters there and there to make that big, you know, whatever it is. Coming to the back, there's the engine there. And this is going to be day 14. And day 15, we either got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter or Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. It was ever the, it, Everybody was saying that it was... Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, and then everybody else would say it was uh, Kylo Ren, so I am not sure, but it looks pretty similar to Kylo Ren's, just of the model. So this is day 15, pretty cool, as you can see there's the cockpit there, and in the back we do have red in the back, because obviously this is a Sith TIE Fighter. Day 15. Day 16 we did get a gun stand, here we do have um, ammo here for this stud shooter that we got, this is the new stud shooter. I mean, it's okay, but it's pretty bulky, to be honest. We did get a mouse droid to go along with it. I was able to make two just because of the extra pieces. So you can make two mouse droids, which is pretty cool. This is going to be day 16. Day 17, we did get a minifigure. We did get a snow trooper. I mean, this is okay. We did get a snow trooper battle pack earlier, but it is, it is uh, snow time, Christmas time, so... This is a very good add-on. As you can see, his uh, she is wielding a, a blaster rifle. I'll tell you guys why she is a she. It is a girl. And not going to say anything else. Coming up to the back, uh, we just have more printing of the torso um, and all the abilities that this um, trooper has. As you can see, here's the camo printed on. Ah, oh, it's very bad. In the back, there's nothing. So it looks like I guess in battle that the camera just got ripped off. So I wish they I wish it came with the actual physical camera piece. And this is gonna be day 17. And to tag along with the snow trooper, we do have one of those big old like gun turrets that came in the Battle of Hoth with the Rebel Troopers were using. As you can see we do have some brick and snow here because obviously it's Hoth. We have more snow piles here, like it's all piled up on the edge. We have a big round tile there, which is a which is really cool. I've not seen them do that. I don't know if they have or they've done it a while back. Tell me in the comments if you know when the last time they did a big round piece like that. And then obviously we use like a little. They use these in Minecraft for the torch as the gun turret. So this is gonna be day eighteen. In part three, we do get a mini ATST micro build. Really cool, as you can see. It looks like it's walking on Hoth have those two little blasters there this is a really cool mini build i was just thinking of it like the day before we got this man it would be cool to have a mini at 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 or an atst mini build and we did get it so i do think it's worth the 40 dollars. this is obviously really really cool then this is going to be day 19. 
And part four, we do get like a little laser gun. This did come in the Hoth Rebel Trooper Battle Pack that did come out uh, uh, around this year or last year, actually. So, yeah, this is pretty, pretty uh, similar to what we got, except obviously in a micro build. Here's like the little switch. And then here's where that antenna thing goes. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really know much about this build. I just know what set it did came in. And obviously, we do have more piles of snow because it's on Hoth. So, this is part four. And then I'll show you guys more of Hoth. So, this is going to be day 20. Day 21, we do get another Hoth Luke Skywalker. The, this, the, this minifigure did come in the Tauntaun versus AT, AT Micro Fighter last year. So, I mean, having another minifigure, if you do got it, is just, you know, not cool. In in my opinion. But in the back, uh, terrible. You can see part of Luke's face. I don't know why they did a double face print. It just, just looks bad. Obviously, he does come with a lightsaber and his snow goggles. So, it's going to be day 21. And the last part of Hoth is... This is going to be part 6 for day 22. We did get a Hoth Wampa Cave. You can set Luke Skywalker here, which I'm going to be showing you guys. We do have a little bone... That is sitting on the bottom there. And there goes Luke Skywalker. Really cool. Let's see, you just take off his lightsaber like that. That's where Luke Skywalker is going to go. This is a pretty, pretty cool build. I honestly love it. And, you know, you can... This is like a combo build. You can you can put two things in one, in one build, which is awesome. This is going to be day 22. 23, one day till Christmas Eve. We did get a Christmas Santa gonk droid. Really cool. There's his beard there. There's his Santa hat. Instead of being brown, rusty, gray, whatever color these gonk droids come in. Now he is red and he is Santa Claus. Really, really cool. I honestly enjoyed this build. Cool Santa gonk droid. I hope he gives me presents. This is going to be day twenty. And for Christmas Eve, day 24, we did get a awesome exclusive R2-D2 with a 3PO ugly Christmas sweater. Um, Right off the back, I, for me, my R2-D2 uh, printing was a little bent. So I guess the machine got it wrong. The, if you see it up here, you can see how it's just going up. So that was a misprint, but it's okay because... A misprint it means that you can sell it and you get lots of money. Anyways, there's the ugly Christmas sweater of 3PO. Come up to the back, we do have the Resistance logo there, which is really cool. What a great add-on. What a great add-on. I'm sorry. Because on 3PO's, we did get nothing in the back. So I wonder, I wonder what happened there. Very interesting. So that's going to be day... 24 is going to be this awesome r2d2 everybody that is going to conclude our set review i hope you guys have a happy new year this is on sale on lego.com so get it now for next year if you guys want it i mean i kind of already spoiled it spoiled it for you guys so eh, maybe not the set is very cool uh, for advent calendar obviously but if you want to buy and just build it go ahead i'll see you guys um on next sunday for a set review